My name is Sam Oldham. I'm a men's artistic gymnast. I'm a British, European and Olympic medalist. Yeah, I've had some big setbacks in my career. But each one of them has only made me stronger. Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. And the British Championships is the first stop on the journey to Tokyo. I've upgraded, I'm rebooted, I'm fully charged, and I'm back. Life right now is really positive. Uh, my gymnastics is going really, really well. I'm just enjoying things. I'm enjoying being back at Notch Gymnastics Academy. It's the club I first started at. Those positive vibes in the gym is really helping me. I feel like I've got so much left in me in gymnastics, and I really do think I've got my best years ahead of me, and I can reach my full potential. So this year, like my main focus this year is the World Championships at the end of the year, uh, but there's a lot of stepping stones towards that. And the first one is this, the British Championships. And then at the O2, I've got the World Cup event, which is going to be really exciting. And then hopefully if I qualify the European Championships. So I've got a lot of things to work towards this year, but it's all about you know, building the, the foundations of what hopefully my routines are going to look like in four years time in Tokyo. So it's getting out there, competing as much as I can, and just getting these new routines out on the competition floor. Rio was an amazing, amazing competition for British Gymnastics. You know, I was obviously very good not to be there, but to watch some of my best friends, you know, Max, I've known Max, me and Max have been competing together against each other since we were like seven, eight years old, and we both came up at the same time into the senior team, so, you know, we're very close. So to watch him achieve what he did, that only made me hungrier and made me more excited about the next four years. It's, it's amazing to be part of the squad. Although I'm only 24, I'm actually one of the older guys on the team now, so I'm one of the experienced heads, and it's, it's great to see these youngsters come up, the likes of Johnny, Joe Fraser, Hamish. Like, these are kids that I've grown up with, even Niall and Courtney. You know, I knew Niall and Courtney when they were like eight, seven, eight years old. They're energetic, they're youthful, they, they want to win things, they want to learn things, so it's great to be around that, and, and it's nice in the gym, training with the GB team, and that pushes us all on to greater things, I think. For me, the all around is what gymnastics is about. When I was a youngster, I was very good at football and I got to a time where I had to choose between the two sports. And the main reason I chose gymnastics was that I saw it as the ultimate challenge. To be British all around champion would be a massive, massive achievement. It's something I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. I've been second in this competition in 2012, so I would really, really love to be crowned British champion. I've got four years, but I would like to do it this year if possible. Um, but I'm just excited for the day. It's going to be a brilliant competition. I firmly believe that I'm capable of great things and going to an Olympic Games and winning medals again. And that's my drive. That's my ultimate drive. This year's British Championships is going to be very, very exciting. It's been a long time since I've been fully fit. It's took two years of hard work, really. So hopefully you're going to see my new routines. You're going to see some exciting stuff. But the British Championships is going to be a battle for the all around, I think. Uh, it's going to be very exciting to see who comes out on top. And you know, I'm doing my best to make sure that at the end of the competition, uh, I'm on top of that podium.